Removing a loop recorder can be tricky. This is a Medtronic Link, and when the three-year battery has expired, most patients want the device out. We use strict sterile technique, and you see us preparing here, so that we don't introduce an infection, but usually don't give an antibiotic. So the body forms a very tough, tight, slippery tissue capsule that surrounds the device and anchors it to uh, surrounding structures under the skin. This is what makes the removal of the device tricky and trickier than the implant procedure. So the trick is to tilt the device so the device is pressing upwards against the skin that's the device header, hopefully on the side of the prior surgical scar, and then we can infiltrate generous lidocaine 1%. This is our numbing medication so we can do the removal without any patient discomfort at all. With the header still tilted up and pressing against the surface of the skin, we use sharp dissection through the skin right onto the device header. And we are trying to slit that tissue capsule, which is holding that device within the body. So here you see us cutting downwards onto the header of the device through the tissue capsule, trying to free that device. The body never wants to release it easily and will have to cut the tissue surrounding the device to free it enough for its removal. Through that incision site, which is as small as possible, here we are reaching with forceps, attempting to grab the device. It's holding on very tightly, so we're going to have to reposition, always propping the header of the device forward towards our incision, hopefully enough to allow us to grab onto the device. A little bit challenging here. Every patient's different. Here we have to expand the tissue, the incision just slightly, which we're doing, and also use sharp dissection to free the device more freely within its or from its tissue capsule. So just below the skin, that means different things for different patients, and of course different implanters have different insertion styles, and we don't always know who implanted the device that we are removing. So there's a little bit more sharp dissection, we're applying more lidocaine here, our numbing medication, for complete patient discomfort, we're not sedating the patient otherwise, so it's all local numbing medication that ensures patient comfort. Now we've grabbed onto the device and you can see us pulling hard and then the device suddenly removes from the body as the capsule releases it. So there's the device we see on the header, these plastic barbs which prevent the device from migrating after you implant, but the tissue really adheres to these and we're gonna be working against them for the removal procedure, which makes it a little bit more complicated. If this patient was to have a second device, we would simply slip it in, that's not the case with this particular patient. So here we're using a 4-0 Vicro resorbable suture to close the insertion site. We'll apply some sutures in a deep layer and then the remainder in a superficial layer. And then burying that surgical knot through the skin, we can continue to apply tension to the suture while we apply surgical glue. So the skin margins are pressing up against each other very tightly because of that tension. Here's the surgical glue that will just fix them together. That's the glue in purple. This, at this point, we can cut the suture, which is still applying tension through the skin to the incision site, and then with the remainder of the glue available to us, we will just apply that even more generously. This will heal instantly. The patient can shower tonight. This will peel off in about seven days without further issue. The patient can shower, just not to scrub on the glue until it peels off automatically. This is James Canneller. Thank you for joining us. Please like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, please follow us on Facebook.